All right, Connor, guess my weight. Surely this is gonna go well. <laughs> this can't go, this can't go well. <laughs> They're the best no ideas. My name is Faith. Deontay, or DJ. I'm Jasmine, and I'm here to guess the weight of some folks. Oh, wait, did you see Women, that? They're not... selling a game based on this. Do you see line up the game at the bottom like, left corner? Oh. They're selling some product. That's crazy. That's a healthy game right there. Let's guess each other's yeah. weight. I yeah, guess your family member's weight. I didn't think that would be a game that could like break your family more than Monopoly, but that's got to be it. They're trying to find a way. How does that make you feel, guessing other people's weight? Um, women, not so well. Men, I could care less. Because they're men, they have no feelings. Okay, what the hell was that? Dang. What the hell was that? Yeah, well, in, in all fairness, when it comes to guys, guys won't care as much, but your justification is they have no feelings? Like, bro, chill out. Like, my heart's been broken before, man. I hate the internet, bro. It's always like, let's just make fun of men all the time. Women treated like queens. Guys, no emotions. Come on. Come on, guys. Yeah. It's like they're asking for mad comments. How is your relationship to your body? I've always thought that I've had a really great one and then like I started to gain a little bit of weight and I realized that like I was being very critical to myself. I'm working on actually learning to love myself rather than that false sense of like self-love. Um, it's a lot better than what it used to be because I just lost 200 pounds. Now I feel a lot Just kidding, more nobody cares what you think because you're a man, you have no feelings, sorry. True. Let's skip over it. Silence, man. Corinne. So these are the weights. Okay. I'm trying to assign people Thank today. you. All right. We've got some all over the place. Okay, 75, 111, 120. Okay, wow, okay, that's get, a lot of, for both of us too. that's, isn't this on the heavier spectrum? Cause like, what, isn't the average weight like 80 kilograms for like a man or something? And then a woman would yeah. be like 50, no, this, this 60. Is definitely on the heavier side. I like, mean, there's only one in the 100 range and they're all 200, 300. Yeah. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you're above a hundred kilograms, the only way you can be healthy is like, if you're like super tall and like super like jacked or something or like- I would say on average, you're correct. It's, it's hard to make absolutes when talking about like medical stuff, but in nine, Nine out of nine point nine out of ten cases, you're probably right. All right, let's see the lineup. I think we've got an interesting mix of like heights and things here. That's what you're <laughs> assuming from looking at these numbers. Just from looking at these numbers, yes. It's interesting because it's how you carry it. Some people have said that I look smaller than I weigh, but it's how I carry myself. Are you ready for me to bring in the line? Let's do it. Good. How are you? How are you feeling? Immediately the lineup makes sense. Isn't yeah. it cruel that they didn't guess my weight and they just picked everybody above a hundred kilograms? What is this, bro? Th they've specifically curated this video to make fun of these people online. <laughs> this is messed up. I feel like some people at Cut know what they're doing. When they select certain people for certain things, like generally, I sometimes feel like they kind of know. They 100% they know, bro. These producers are like actual shadow assassins seeking out like the most <laughs> malicious things possible. Like on the button, they seek out just the worst people on the planet, just the biggest cheaters, just like the, the worst personalities. It's like the anime girl who was like, like the, you know, the, like yeah. the pink hair one? <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Like classic, like classic. Right Cla like, that was <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like blindfolded dating. Every single chick's a fat chick. Like just, just make the guy's life as hard as possible, bro. <laughs> Different now that everyone's right here. <laughs> Would you come up? Yes. What's your name? Daisy. Daisy, that's a great name. Thank you. I'm gonna say, like, keep looking at your boobs. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of like weight can be held in you, like your your butt and stuff. What is your bra size? What's your cup size? I think I'm so Connor, how much weight do you hold in your butt? For me, at least five My kilograms, butt. at least. I, I just have massive man yeah I, all, all the guys are jealous or all yeah. the ladies are jealous actually out of my so. 60 kilograms at least 59 is concentrated in my breast area <laughs> yeah you actually have a gravitational orbit around that yeah. uh, it's just so uh, dense yeah i got a little mercury rotating around my mm -hmm. all right revolving yeah 36c c okay, 34c same. same okay like okay that. what do you do in your day to day go to the gym with my roommate in the morning okay make myself some good lunch you know what did you eat today that's pretty good i mean they're at least they got a healthy lifestyle going yeah. to the gym i don't know how long they've been going or like uh diet or whatever but going to the gym yeah. is always a plus so i can respect that yeah i agree i agree also what what are we giving her i, I we kind of have to play along so i'm gonna give her the lowest yeah. out of all of them I'm gonna yeah, I was just about to say, whichever the lowest one was, I yeah. would say. I'm going lowest. Ooh, I've been eating the snacks over the years. <laughs> I think I ate like four of them. <laughs> lot. I'm gonna go with like my safe bet here and give you the 167. 167. Yeah, 167. Yep. That's gonna be my yep. safe bet because my pounds, mom always right? told me never to ask yeah. one on her weight. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> That's right. We're gonna roll with that today. All right. Thank you. Nice to no, see you. No worries. Hello. Hi. 
I call you guys that like are built like you. I say like hefty or like thick. Okay. I think the word is Discord mod. <laughs> hefty and thick kind of works too. Yeah, like definitely hefty. like the lumberjack build. Hefty and thick guys, like bro it's selected something that lumberjack is to me character like customization. What's your favorite outfit? <laughs> I, I like flannels. Ooh, um, okay. kind of. Wow. Who could have? Who could have thought? Hmm. A lot. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so you said you like to cover that yourself up. Is that something you've always done? When I can, I yeah. probably would. If I'm in a store and I'm walking like by a mirror, I'm just kind of like, well, I don't want to look over there. Mm. You know, I just kind of try to focus on everything else around me rather than myself. What did you have for breakfast today? A few sips of water, but I've been having some snacks too. I had some what, are the, what are the snacks back then? Wait a minute. So you had a few sips of water for breakfast and then you had a, a couple of snacks. What are these snacks? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bit sus here, all right? <laughs> like with a, a few sips of water, what, uh, what uh, you skip breakfast? Dude, I like, I never eat. I just like can't stomach food in the morning. I'll, I'll have lunch. I'll literally have like three lunches in the afternoon. I just can't stomach like food in the morning. I don't know why. I know you, yeah, I, don't, I get I don't that. I get that for sure. It's harder to eat when you just wake up. I'm a bit sus about these few snacks. Just saying it's a, I don't know. Have for breakfast today. A few sips of water, but I've been having some snacks too. I had some what, are the, what are the snacks back there? Cause I'm hearing a lot about really these snacks. <laughs> I'm gonna give you He just did not answer it. 275. I'm gonna go with 245. Uh, why'd you give me 245? Um, just because of your height and weight is distributed. So I'm gonna give him the max. Whatever the max is. The max? Yeah, compared to he's these. He's, he's the biggest mm. and tallest and like he's a guy. Yeah, so he, like, he's also got the height advantage and he's very dense. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my uh, man's dad. Guys, that, that wasn't being an insult. This is just my genuine, like, uh, it's either he gets the, the biggest one or the guy in the far right. I'm going to give him the biggest just because I think he's turned around, so you're getting a bit tricked here. I feel mm, like if he's true. facing the camera, he'd be mm. bigger than the guy at the right, but we'll see. He is Thank you. You're welcome. the biggest bird. Good friend, come on forward. So do you do any, like, physical activity or sports? Do you, do you like to stay fit? Do you eat relatively healthy? We're back at it again with the nose ring. We're back at it again. That's true. Listen, guys. Okay, for example, this girl's nose ring. This is acceptable, all right? Because it's not blocking your breathing, okay? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it would be harder to function as a human being with that size, but we'll see. Absolutely not. Cool, okay. Yeah. Are you happy with your current weight? Not really. What would you change if you could? Uh, just be thinner. I'm kind of coming to terms with the fact that like my body will never be how it was. What? I mean, unless you got some sort of never. a condition, you can you can literally change yourself in a, like three months, just three months of good dieting and exercise and you look pretty good. I don't know. I feel like you're not yeah, that bad. I don't understand what he means by will never be. Maybe because he's like very against exercise. Maybe he's like not never in the sense that it's physically impossible, but never in the sense that like he knows like I don't want to make certain changes and mm. I'm not going to make those changes. Therefore, my body won't make those I mean, changes. With, with that mindset, obviously, I mean, the, what are you going to expect, right? Like you got to have some optimism. With your body. I was kind of like closed off by my body and mm -hmm. little like there was some shame and stuff for sure for sure grew up in a very fat phobic household and then kind of just like realizing that my body is the one i got the other people sure seem to like it so That's i should great. probably get on board okay a fat phobic household is that a household yeah. that values health or is that a household that actually just like berates you constantly because there's a big difference there yeah you know there's a difference there's definitely being like extremely disrespectful and just bad about all that kind of stuff and then also one that wants you to be healthy and i do understand that some people are healthier even if they carry more weight on them yeah. but at a certain point on on average, if you're carrying more weight than is normal, just mm. it tends to be maybe you're not unhealthy at the moment, but there is correlation with like high blood pressure and heart disease. There's just like a lot of stuff that is kind of correlated generally. True. So that's true. why it's, the assumption is made. It's not yeah. every case always forever. And I don't know why he's acting like completely like far gone or something like, no, dude, you changed really easily. And you said you're not happy with your body. Other people are happy with your body. So then now you're accepting it. I feel like if you're not happy, you should make an effort to change right screw other people mm -hmm. right so did you find that you were feeling better about yourself from other people's <clears throat> yeah. validation okay. yeah it was one of those things where like if enough people tell me something and i just keep denying them mm -hmm. i'm basically just telling that many people that they're all liars mm -hmm. 
And I don't want to do that. No, they might actually all be liars. If we watch the previous video, there was a person who was blatantly obese, right? And everybody rated her a 7.5 or 8 out of 10. And they know they're lying to them. They just do it because they want to save face and they don't want to be harsh on people, but they're actually damaging them more in the long run because everybody tells them they're like 8 out of 10s and then they're like, oh, maybe I am actually an 8 out of 10. I don't need to make a change for my health. So yeah. believe yourself over other people people at least i would i'm gonna give you the the 315 315 i'm gonna say 315 mm -hmm. you're a tall person I and am. sometimes being taller really there's there's more weight there True. I'm still gonna. I still, I'm gonna think, I, I, I still think it's the guy at the the flannel. He definitely is 315. Okay, I'm gonna give this the the flan. Yeah, the flannel guy the number one, and this guy mm. gonna give him the number two, the nose ring, the number two. Oh, actually, mm. number two or three. I'm not wait, sure what the short guy. Yeah, wait for the guy in the very end to like come closer. My name's Kira. I know I was talking about boobs earlier and weight <laughs> and things like that. You've got it's large okay. breasts. Yes, I do. I know that they probably carry some weight. They do. You have back problems. I do. Very bad. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently that's an issue that girls have, so that's pretty annoying. Yeah, I actually, I've known of people that are healthy weight range, but mm. they have a very uneven distribution yeah. in their, you know, chest region and that can have some perks yeah. right <laughs> however yeah, course, some yeah. people have gone all the way to get like breast reduction surgery because mm. of the damage it does to your back like yeah. that i mean think about it you have like a ton of weight kind yeah. of unevenly in like the front pulling you down true constantly. true like, i, I don't know if that has back. anything to do with your choices or it's just a genetic lottery thing i think it's a mix i definitely mm. think it is genetic for how it gets distributed but right. i think i mean overall if you, if you're a thousand pounds it's some of it's going to go there it's just a percentage <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Oh, I guess, I guess. Problem. Yeah, I'm not going to speak on that because, like, I don't, I don't really know if it's, like, even if you were thin, maybe it gets distributed there somehow, but, like... Yeah, there were some cases like that. This morning, my breakfast was a Red Bull. <laughs> that's hardcore. That's that's not good. That's yeah, not I mean, good. I, I do drink coffee in the morning. I just take it black, nothing else. Well, coffee is a bit different like... than Red Bull. <laughs> yeah. Coffee, well, say... let's, coffee mm -hmm. I mean, you get your li very limited amount of caffeine that actually is good mm -hmm. for you and, you know, gets mm -hmm. you through the day and gets you ready and focused to work and red bull is i don't know how much sugar one can is that's that's messing you up all right that's giving yeah, you energy there's also for a lot sure. of like spooky stuff in red bull i know there's probably a lot of people who watch us who probably have like monster and red bull just take that stuff <laughs> in moderation guys and or 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 be the absolute genius 1000 iq pegasus move swap it out for g fuel baby artificial sweeteners and way tastier <laughs> i'm saying g fuel actually goaded learned the yeah. hack from pewdiepie you should, get yeah. a, you should get a code with them you really should i i really should it's actually delicious man amazing red bulls almost every day <gasps> And then snacks. <laughs> <laughs> what's next? Yeah, I want to know what snacks are. I started out. Yeah. What did I start out with? Corn nuts. I think it was corn nuts. Yeah, I had the, I had the <laughs> corn nuts. Do you like to show skin? Um, I do. Yeah. Does that go into how you feel about your body? I love my body, so why wouldn't I want to show it off? I think I'm trying to rule out if you feel bad about your body based on the number. To me, the number doesn't matter. The number doesn't matter. Yeah. It's just me. Well, that's one way to look at it. It's just me. Yeah. According to what you said, that it is causing you these problems. Again, I don't know if the back problems are because of your weight or because it's a natural thing. I'm just going to assume yeah. for this hypothetical argument, it is because of your lifestyle and habits. And maybe you could have potentially a little less back pain if you change your habits. Okay, what does it just <laughs> me mean, guys? Come on. I don't know. How is that a justification for anything? It's just me. You can be anything you yeah, want. You choose like, to like be. You a class in school and you're like, oh, Oh, well, that's just how I am. It's like, well, mm. no. You might have some upper bound limitations where you can't get 100%, but that doesn't mean you can't improve and have a better quality. And it's going to be just you both ways. Yeah. Like, it's still going to be you if you get an A or an F. True, but you can kind of have that choice there. Why do you think you can't ask a woman their weight? Because my mom said it was rude. Why do you think your mom said that? I have no idea, but what she says goes. What about men? Men have no emotions or feelings and... <laughs> slap this guy. Just like, actually just slap this guy he's like i know it's kind of memeing but also it's like people are just laughing it off as if it's like it's a legitimate reason that uh, many men you know go neck themselves right they feel like they can't express themselves to many people and stuff like that why you can't ask a woman your weight that's a societal thing all right people have just put that mm. on you because we're not supposed to offend women at all you can ask a guy's height yeah. but not a woman's weight her weight it's uh yeah, that's that's definitely not a him thing that's like an everyone thing yeah you know it's not I mean? his mom thing like what it's 
it's considered rude because I don't know if they're fat, it's rude. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to roll with 275. 275. 245. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And last enough. I'm going to give her actually the least amount from all the guys just because she's a girl and I feel like girls way less technically on average even i just though, gotta see this guy he might have a sleeper build i don't know yeah yeah even though on physical side like she may be like you know appear heavier than the rest but i'm just gonna go based on girls and guys because i know guys are just heavier so Alice. Hi. hello so what did you eat today they had nuts <laughs> some nuts can i get a bag of these nuts like, i feel like everybody's just talking about some nuts do you like to do anything pretty like active um i like to go for like a walk around my neighborhood um, I like to go to like metal concerts. I don't go super hard. Mm. Yeah. Like I'm not like slam dancing in the pit or nothing. That's a that's an interesting accessory he's got there. Like what is that? What is this? Wait, oh, where? I don't the, go the, super the hard. Ear. Yeah. Like the ear. What? What in Yeah, that's, that's a new one. I've not seen that one before. Guys, we've upgraded from nose rings to three rings connected to another ring at the at the what? With oh my god, I yeah, I would I be paranoid. I would never wear this because I feel like if somebody tugs at it and rips off my ear, Ooh, I would be that yeah. would be an I've legit. A nightmare. With the with the earrings and the the big ones yeah. that really have a big hold on your ears. What if it just gets caught? Boom. Yeah, you're yeah. Gone. <laughs> and I'm like, if you're if you're moving around a towel on your head, it might get caught. One of the threads might get caught. Or if you're moving mm. around a bag, if you're in like the metro or like a bus, something yeah. latches yeah. onto that and you're done, bro. Like I don't know. Yeah. Not like slam dancing in the pit or nothing. But... What's slam dancing? I've seen people like it's just like punching and thrashing your yeah, just going yeah. crazy. <laughs> Does your weight mean something to you? Previously in life, it has meant a lot yeah. negatively. Lately, more positive. Positively. I care more about just being healthy versus like a number on a scale. Do facts, you... facts. Okay, good, good. I agree with that sentiment for sure. You should, okay, sentiment. guys, whatever we preach always, first health, okay? As long as you know you're healthy and if other people think that, okay, you're, you're looking fat or something like that, that doesn't really matter. If if you know you're healthy and like gone to your doctor and you're not everybody's built the same. Maybe you look fat, yeah. but you're yeah. actually healthy, right? That's then that's fine, that's fine. We're just concerned about There's people's health. There's a lot of skinny health. people that are not healthy at all. All, exactly like it, yeah it definitely is a per case so i mean it's very difficult to say someone who's like 600 pounds is healthy it's also difficult to say someone who is like 20 pounds is healthy right yeah. at the two spectrum it's pretty easy to make a snap judgment and you'll be probably right but there is definitely a, a spectrum in between where it really depends on like it there, depends on you and how you feel. yeah like the reason people like generally preach don't be fat is because it's just correlated you know and most yeah. people like on average will be unhealthy but you it, you can be the exception you know you find yeah. yourself carrying either kind consciously or unconsciously any kind of like bias toward people who are currently fat? Not necessarily. A, I would never judge somebody mm -hmm. uh, based on anything because it's a struggle. Like I was there. I know what it mm -hmm. feels like. So I would never judge somebody based on anything. That's the biggest cap I've heard in my entire goddamn yeah. life. Based on anything? Like, what? What are you yeah, talking about? I think that's not true. Maybe it's like, I, I feel like subconsciously you'll always make app judgments. I guess then it's up to you how you're so your subconscious will make a snap judgment. It's up to you how your conscious will react to that. Like, will it agree or will it take a more logical approach? This really um, pisses me off because like everybody on the internet likes to act like a saint and they're like, I never judge mm -hmm. anybody. Meanwhile, they're the most judgmental people on the planet and they just oh, say, yeah, no, they absolutely. don't say what they think. When somebody like me comes along and actually just says what everybody's thinking, then they pretend like, oh, well, I wasn't thinking that. Like, shut the hell up, right? Shut yeah, the, shut yeah, no, that's that's definitely one thing. Like the people have, especially TikTok comment section, I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. But then <laughs> when someone extreme. says basically what they say in the TikTok comment section, they're like, oh my God, how how could you say something like yeah. that? And then you check their common history. It's like, oh, well, you said 10x worse, bro. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know. Thanks. So men do have feelings. You said earlier men don't have feelings, but it seems like they do. Do they? You've shown feelings this whole time. Yeah. Have I? In a good yes. way, yeah. I think that's just transparency. <laughs> that, are those feelings? Are transparency, <laughs> I feel like that's the same thing. Uh, <laughs> that's questionable. See, the reason- Bro, I thought he was memeing. He was serious with that? Yeah, I think he's holding strong with that statement. I wouldn't care that much if he was memeing, but it seems he's like- He's actually like, dude, he's not yeah. even memeing. He's like, men don't have feelings. This I, guy's the most delusional- I, I think men tend to show less of their feelings. And I feel like there are some emotions where men just don't experience the range as much 
much as women do. Yeah, but I think course. on some other emotions, I think men experience <laughs> Listen, range even more. I think it kind of just depends. Yeah, according to biology, obviously women were going to be more emotional, right? That's just basic biology. But doesn't mean men don't have emotions. And I think that they're pretty comparable. Like the difference isn't like massive or anything. Yeah. Um, it's definitely comparable. Obviously, the guy who says, I don't judge people, says men have no emotions, like, of course. And I challenge your, your men have no feelings thing is because I'm a trans man. So mm -hmm. I've lived as a fat woman and a fat man. So I kind of see, at least in the realm of being a fat person, mm -hmm. like, I do think that men struggle just as much as women do, just Facts. in a different way. You're right about that. Any, of bro. any gender, a fat response. person is going to struggle with the same internalized fat phobia that yeah. our society has. Absolute so. facts. Um, well, this is the only number I have left, so we gotta... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so number one is the red. Mm -hmm. Number two is the striped nose ring person. No, I agree with that too. I think that the, because he's the tallest out taller. of all of them. Yeah, so he's, he's way taller. Height than really does add, like height yeah. is because like that's a lot of bone and everything in there. Yeah. So yeah, I think he's number two. Number three is the last guy. Uh, last guy, yeah. yeah. Four, Four is the, is the green shirt girl. The green shirt girl and five. Okay, we agree on everything. We'll see. I'm yeah. let you yeah. take a look. And if you want to switch one, you can do that, and then I want you to put them in order. I feel like these two need to switch. Ooh. You drop over, you switch, you switch. Okay. What? what? And if Faith mm. got you I there. completely I'm going to hear all the hands. What? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, we'll we're see. right on the video. <laughs> we'll see all of them. What? <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> no. Switch your weights, please. All right, let's see. Light. Order. This is why we don't guess weights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was number one, number two, number We're three. Right. Oh my god, dude. Dude, we <laughs> Listen, got it. <laughs> dude, high five right now, bro. If if you didn't high five the cam, I don't like you. I, we're just goats, man. I don't know. We're just absolute goats yeah, here. Yeah, we, we got it on point. Like, that's on point. And yeah. uh, listen, they try to throw us off by making everybody picking from a very select group of people all above 100 kilograms except one girl. Yeah, and also the weight range is really close. It's only the difference of like 20 to 30 pounds, which yeah. that's hard. That's difficult to tell. Like, obviously, the girl on the far left, she weighed the least, obviously. obviously. But everyone else was kind of a toss up. Yeah, we're just connoisseurs of uh, big people. Wait, We've watched too many of I'm a baddies, all right? <laughs> I should have just like switched people. Oh. One on five. Hey, look at that. I'll take that. So you're the only one that I got Yay. right. <laughs> How was your relationship with your body and your weight? So, about a year ago, I started my fitness journey. I was going through a lot of Go. mental stuff and so I went to working out as a coping mechanism okay. it was healthy at first uh -huh. but then it became a little toxic because I would stop myself from going out with friends because I didn't want to okay, eat that's not too good. much ever since then I still work out like four mm. times a week but I let myself eat what I need to eat so I have a really good relationship now good. I need to get back in the gym yeah Girl, <laughs> hit me up <laughs> all right come here talk to me miss so you got me wrong why did you put me at 275 I don't have very large <laughs> breasts so i don't think i really know like actually kind of she really added 30 pounds because of breasts I, I don't know how much they weigh but it yeah. ain't 30 pounds all i know is i didn't make that mistake how Parents? much weight Maybe that would no add i mean it does but... is there anything that contributes to your weight so i was on birth control for about seven years i actually got off because of covid because i couldn't get my next one mm -hmm. this started my journey with my weight and i had gained weight so so fast mm -hmm. i don't know if you know but birth control weight is so hard to lose like yeah. it's almost impossible to lose okay i have no idea what this do you know about this like what, what does um, it do i have heard a lot about birth control having really kind of like negative side, side effects, effects. yeah of, like emotional too. something drive um weight issues very common and i think for sometimes birth control is used for like regulating the menstrual cycle or something but mm. also it's used if you want to have unprotected um yeah yeah of course yeah, yeah demonetized stuff mm. yeah but does it make yeah, you gain I, a lot of weight and like it can it can because it, can. it like messes with your hormones because it literally prevents you from having like a child i think so i'm not an expert guys is, I'm not it, a is, PhD it, is it healthy to be on birth but... control for seven years that doesn't uh, sound i can't give an exact answer because i don't know it's, if you're having negative side effects i feel like any period is questionable um yeah. but then don't guys don't go be like oh this yeah. is my doctor we don't we'll know much about it okay? right <laughs>
And I, we're not done. I'm sure I'll learn a lot in the comment section. Of course, yeah. my brief experience. I find it frustrating that people don't consider all of the ways that weight can fluctuate. Actually, Usually people associate it with like food. It was solely hormonal. I have learned to just love my body because I only have one life and one body and so. Hell yeah. Yeah. I support that. Get on up here. All right, so you got me wrong, but you were close. I got you wrong, <laughs> but I was close. Okay. So how do you feel about 275? Um, it's right. <laughs> it's right, you're right. That's my weight. Yeah. yeah. You yeah, were saying yeah. earlier that you feel healthy when you feel healthy mentally or you just feel good like, in your yes. skin. Yes, and, and that's something that I've had to like kind of coach myself into believing. Absolutely. Um, it's like, have you always been a little bit heavy? Yeah, so I have um, polycystic ovarian syndrome, which mm. just like in short, it has made it really hard to lose weight my entire life. Damn, a lot of these people have uh, conditions, which uh, definitely makes me more sympathetic. I don't know what these conditions are. If it's something you can't control, obviously nobody's gonna fault you for it. I totally mm. understand. But as a kid, I heard a lot of like, like I would get told I was so fat, I was gonna get diabetes and my like toes would get cut off. Like and my, that has to my do mom with that. would tell me like, things like that. <laughs> I've been on every diet imaginable, yeah. like restricting food, exercise. I'm just always gonna be a big person. Yeah. Well, thank you so much yeah, for that. Thank you. Hello. Hello. 296. Got yeah. that wrong too. I just you really. Got me wrong. I did. I mean, but you know, I wasn't too far no, off. I just no. assumed because you were the tallest, yeah. I figured there was gonna be more mass. There, more weight there. That's just facts. Uh, taller people are tend to be yeah, heavier. Like, what's your weight? Is that something that you've struggled with, or like how do you? Um, I got a little ways over 300 um, during COVID. You know, yeah. because I was just sitting at home all day. <laughs> Have you ever tried to hide your weight? I think ever since like I got older and my weight became something that I was aware of. <laughs> I didn't, but I think like probably the baggiest clothes I ever wore was when I was skinny. I don't know. I always look at people that have suspenders on who have a belly and I'm like, that looks good. That looks awesome. Yeah. And That's so great. I kind of was just like, it highlights it in a way that makes me feel good about myself. Yeah. I never thought of suspenders that way. Yeah. Is suspenders the rainbow thing? Yes. What is the purpose of that? Is that a fashion thing or is it holding something? I think it's a fashion thing. Maybe originally it was to like hold it up. I don't actually know. I think it's meant to hold it up, but I think it really is a fashion thing. Right. Okay. That kind of reminds me of like kids on a playground is isn't that what kids wear or like i don't know i think there are some child clothing that are suspenders but it's also it is true it is also a thing that adults wear as well yeah you still to me don't look 315 pounds i think a lot of it's in my ass i mean is it you have a big you have a big <laughs> so. you really got a dumpy. can i see yeah. it is it weird oh Ooh. you do <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm blessed. <laughs> no, yeah. Really? Yeah. How do you feel about your butt? Are you like happy about it? I'm not the happiest with it. I'd be trying some pants on and they don't fit and my thighs and my butt just won't make it in, so. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> I've never had that problem. Is that one of your biggest insecurities? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm who I am, so I'm not gonna, yeah. you know, beat myself up too much over it. My girlfriend likes my butt a lot. Nice. So, I was yeah. gonna say, she's a butt girl, huh? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find yourself happy these days? It's just a number, so it's not too bad. It's not just a number. <laughs> it's like, it's just who I am. It's, it's just a number. If yeah, it's negatively I, impacting I think... your health, it's not no longer just a number. Yeah, I think it's just a number in the sense that you can't compare it to someone else's number and yeah. have the same truth about it, True. like health-wise. I think other factors, like other statistic numbers might be less than just a number like as long as you're healthy because like that guy might genuinely just be a really big lumberjack type guy mm, true true if he's doing fine on the charts that's really that what matters it, just a lot of times when you're that size it mm. tends to be correlated with other things that are at risk and will maybe be harder later in life i mean mm. just being a bigger person is harder on your body because there's just yeah. more that it needs to deal with. It's like why bigger dogs tend to live yeah. less than smaller and, dogs. And there's I think lots big of like, dogs live like eight yeah. on eight years on average and small dogs are closer to 12 or something. There's That's lots of like, you know, level. visceral fat covering the organs, which mm -hmm. might shut yeah. down some function later on. So you gotta, you yeah, gotta keep a watch on that. Of that. It could be a perceived to be a skinny guy, but have a really bad distribution and be just as unhealthy or more unhealthy than someone that seems bigger. Like that, that does happen too. Yeah, and I've just noticed that a lot of people tend to just make any excuse imaginable rather than putting in the yeah. hard work. It's hard yeah. to tell nowadays, like is somebody making up an excuse or do they actually have mm -hmm. something? It's pretty annoying for people who legitimately have an excuse. It's uh... when someone says I need to eat what like is right for me. The worst mm -hmm. thing you can do is like starve yourself. Like that will yeah. deprive, but that's, that's awful. And also like your body, like that, that's a bad idea. But right? yeah, I do also... definitely 
get people who like who, who don't feel right when people just tell them to lose weight or whatever and then they can't do anything about it i remember when i was uh like super skinny or something and like because of uh, crohn's and stuff people would be like oh just just go gym and just start eating more it's like bro i was, like literally couldn't do shit like this is like yeah. body wouldn't absorb any food it was it was frustrating to see for sure but you can get past anything i say what do you see next for your body my goal weight would probably be like 240 so i, I just want to find like a healthy lifestyle i want to be able to go to the gym and kind of feel good about myself every day. The biggest piece of advice that I can give anyone is to find their why. Your why is gonna be your reasoning for losing, and as long as you stick with that, then that'll kind of be the motivation that you need. Yeah. Awesome, well thank you. Thank you. His first piece of good advice in 30 minutes, wow. Yeah, look, like, I'm not I'm a big fan of the guy for like harping on the men have no feelings, however, That guy, I that guy needs say, to go immediately. Yeah. Probably cause like 50% of the population. Shout out to him though for losing like 200 pounds though, like that's pretty, that's really impressive. Yeah. That's really hard. Like, yeah. I have not experienced that, uh, obviously. Anyways, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the like, bye-bye.